Hello and welcome back to ESEC Virtual Training. Tony here. And today we're going to go over some kihon, some basics. All we are doing is taking some of the more simpler basics and making them more complex. And if you enjoy the content in this video, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. The first basic we're going to do is called Yonhonzuki. So you're gonna go face punch, stomach punch, pivot, reverse punch, pivot, stomach, reverse punch. Each knee, side, shi, full speed. And then make sure you do the other side as well. Next, we're gonna do lopponzuki, which is six punches. One, two, pivot, three, four, five, pivot, six. So you wanna make sure you do those six punches. Try to figure out the timing and then it'll be a lot easier. And the other side. Next, we're gonna combine the pivot motion with your feet and the twisting of your hip with single arm movements followed by a reverse punch. So you're gonna turn, age yuke, ureke uchi, geranbare, with the same hand, and then throw a reverse punch, or yakuzuki. Age yuke, ureke uchi, geranbare, yakuzuki, and back, age yuke, ureke uchi, geranbare, yakuzuki. And put it all together and move as quickly as possible. And another side. Now we're going to combine some lower body movements, some kicks, with our techniques. Let's start with Mayagiri Kansetsugeri. So, Mayagiri Kansetsugeri. And if you need to put your foot down, that's fine. Just go Mayagiri, down, Kansetsugeri, turn. So you want to just make sure now you're gonna turn 180 degrees and then pull back 90. Turn 180 degrees and pull back 90. So we're gonna just start with the kicks. Next, you want to add a soto uke and a kedanbare. Now we're going to go ahead and incorporate the blocks as well. Now we're going to start in a hegel dutch and go ahead and just bring one arm up. Backhand is going to come up age uke and punch. Your punch hand will now turn into a soto uke and punch. And then get on but I and punch. You're gonna just keep alternating your techniques. Block, punch, block, punch. Once that's easy to do, you want to combine them to do them at the same time. So you're gonna do agiki punch at the same time. So from here, you can start hands down. Agiki punch. Soto your punch. Get on but I punch. And then again, you just keep going. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the dojo and I'm gonna show you all those techniques in the gi so you can see the difference between the two. We're here back at the dojo and we're gonna go over all those basics once again.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to show the difference between clothes and having a gi. With the gi, it's a lot easier to hear the snap and it makes you feel better when you're doing it, when you're throwing that technique because you hear that snap with the punch. All right, until next time.